Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for Friday, December 31st, the last day of 2021. Are you excited? <laughs> Are you ready to bring in the new? New year? Last day. Woohoo! Look at that. Celebration. All right. Three of Cups. What is that crossed by? Three of Wands. Five of Swords. A strength card. Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. I feel like it's... Hold yourself back, learning to hold yourself back from going down the path of negativity, okay? Of going down the path to bringing up things from the past that hurt you. I feel that... It's sort of that energy of you saying, "Yeah, no, I'm not going to accept that. I'm, I'm not going to go down that path. You're going to you're going to see that path, and you're going to have that circle with the, you know, that red circle with the line through it, and say, "Yeah, I'm not going down that way." Like coming into your own and seeing that, yeah, um, I want to be happy. Um, I I don't want to let others affect me. I don't want their energy to affect me. Um, I can see myself heading down this path and, and I'm not going to follow that. I'm going to walk away from that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk away from the fox. I'm going to walk away from the two swords that are on the ground and I'm not going to let it affect me. I'm going to be free. I'm going to be emotionally in a positive mindset. I'm just kind of looking at her head there, how she's just, it's almost like meditation you know, meditation of these beautiful things here, the castle and the birds and the flower and the gold rings and the wings and freeing yourself. Being the dragon and fighting back and not, not letting the negative energy get in. Feeling confident, feeling strong, okay? And maybe reaching out to those people and letting them know that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not going to deal with that. Or reaching out to people or taking chances or opportunities that you've been wanting to take. Finally doing those things that you want to do. Setting those goals for the future. Finding those paths. Achieving your goals. All right, so let's get... Okay. We have the star card, and then we have the, the king of pentacles. I feel like that's coming into your own. Believing in yourself, believing in hope. Having faith, having hope. Okay, Knight of Wands. Not, not taking action against those who, who are trying to go against you. Walking away fr from those situations or those that are trying to, you know, go against you like seeing clearly that all right we have the strength card two of swords making that decision to be strong and to be confident and to look at both sides of a situation also maybe not jumping to conclusions about things um, quickly and maybe stepping back from a situation instead of maybe somebody's trying to cause drama around you and you're like okay I'm not going to step into that I'm not going to step into that hornet's nest I'm going to step back let me have time to think things through let me have time to to see um, both sides 
and then I'll make my decision. Maybe before you are always quick, quick, quick to jump into something and then you're like, ugh, why did I do that? I should have taken my time. I wish I hadn't done that. And maybe now it's learning to, okay, you know, sometimes people like to push your buttons and you have that automatic, you know, comeback and you're, you, you know, you're going in with, you know, your teeth bared and then it's like, oh boy, this just created a big mess. And I'm, and then thinking about, well, how, why did I let that person get to me? Why did I let that person get to me and take control of me? And it's about, okay, learning to, you know what, you're not going to get to me. You're not going to get to me. And I'm going to step back. And then I will give you an answer if I want to, I will respond to you if I want to. And if I do, I will have that well thought out. Falling into that trap of, of, of heartbreak from before, falling into that, you know, that energy of that and saying, yep, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to step away from that. I'm going to step back from that. I'm going to step back from that energy. I'm going to step back from those people that are trying to create drama and stir things up. I'm going to step back from that. Hangman, perfect. That's my favorite card, the hangman. Stepping back and taking a look at things before you respond, before you take action, if you even want to take action. And that's that energy that I was feeling here, even though that was a four of pentacles, it's taking that step back, but it's taking that step back from that drama, that negative energy. Realizing that, got to step back. Don't let them draw me in just trying to stir me up, okay? Page of Wands and Page of Cups. Feeling emotionally happy. Feeling emotionally in a better place. Because you have control of the situation, you're not letting the situation take control of you. And that's a big thing. Look at that. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, focusing on the positive instead of focusing on the negative. Not letting that Three of Swords get to you. All right, that brings a lot of growth. All right, that brings a lot of prosperity. It brings a lot of growth. It's almost like your rebirth. Realizing, okay, yeah, now I need to step back from situations. I need to not let them draw me into a negative situation. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is somebody who is very patient and is ready to do the work and thinks things through, okay? Thinking about those relationships, those connections. Making those connections, some connections stronger. Focusing on those and letting go of the connections that are not good. Lovers. Love that. Like I said, maybe starting some new relationships, but the ones that, you know, are more positive for you, whether it's a friendship or family relationships, business partnerships, partnerships, whatever that is, that relationship that you have with yourself, looking out for yourself, making those decisions that are best for you, seeing that maybe before you used to jump right in there and now it's like, well, they were just trying to stir me up, they were taking control and now it's like, yeah, I'm looking out for me. I'm not jumping in there, I'm stepping back. Having that strong relationship with yourself, looking out for yourself. Making decisions that are best for you. Not putting yourself into those situations where you end up being unhappy. And kind of looking at yourself as a best friend and saying, okay, if I was going to give myself advice on this situation, if someone came to me and said, okay, this is what's going on, what would my advice be to that person? So what is that advice to myself? looking at things from a different perspective. That's key. All right, let's close out with a fortune reading card for this last day of 2021. 
Phoenix. Oh my gosh, how perfect is that? <laughs> Phoenix, you be that Phoenix rising from the ashes. All right, rise from the ashes. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Yes, those struggles, those frustrations. Put this year behind you. Perfect way to end this year and to start next year. It's a new you. Be the phoenix. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.